어, 각자 그래도 역할이 있으시지만 약간 어, 저 역할은 나좀 해보고 싶었는데 이런 생각이 든게 있었나요? What, within the movie? Mm -hmm. I am Groot. It would be nice to just say I am Groot. Yeah. <laughs> from a sound, from a sound booth, one day. Uh, yeah. yeah, right. Okay. I guess I'll take the voice of Rocket. Oh. Yeah. Can you do a little? Oh God, what does he sound like? <laughs> the Gat? No. <laughs> that was very the good. The Guardians of the Galaxy. No, no. <laughs> I didn't get the role. <laughs> what about you, Chris? He's oh. really good at imitations. I am? Yes, now you have to yeah. do it. Uh, Are you doing me? No. <gasps> am I doing you? No. Uh, huh? Do Mantis? You know, I, I've, I really love the idea of playing an empath uh, like Mantis. I think that's really uh, spectacular, the opportunity to... to it, it's great. I mean, uh, one of the... One of the things that actors work with beyond just what they look like or what they sound like or their spirit is, is their emotion. And if the idea is that you can read a person's emotion and suddenly feel a person's emotion, I mean, her scene that she has with Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 where she puts her hand on Drax and she feels this incredible sadness and this profound pain within him and you see it on her face, I mean, that's really, really juicy stuff to get to do as an actor. I mean, I wouldn't want to try to do it because I don't think anyone could do it as well as Palm did, but that's that kind of a that kind of an exercise as an actor would be really fun. I would love to see you with antennas though. Yeah, that'd be nice. I agree. In that costume. I think I'd be so cute in that costume. You have to wear the special contact lens. Yeah. Big eyes, antennas and a cute skirt. I love to see that.